Why am I here? This is the important question. Well, there's an arrow in front of me. What y'all looking at? I trust you aren't considering any thievery. Enchanting services are one of the few things that keep it's got a lot of money. The rest of ah, I gotta give some books back and find the location of the Elder Scrolls. At some point. At some point we gotta figure that out. And that. That. That's the big one I gotta figure out. I think I may have accidentally gotten rid of those scrolls, which would be a problem. I already have a kitty. They're coming right up to say hi right now, actually. Hi, Emmy. I mean, go ahead and get another kitty if you want, but... Yes, hi. Nasty okay. business with that Ancano Come fellow. back. Pity that I was unable to assist, but I was otherwise occupied. You want your armrest? Come on. Mage or not, my all this the book you wanted. Happen. Looks like you're still in one piece, and more importantly, so is the book. Thanks. Thank uh, any progress? You were able to figure out the last text you brought in. I thought the least I could do is pass the knowledge along. You can't get any more cats. That's unfortunate. Um, what? Huh. Uh, I'm looking for an and Elder what do Scroll. You plan to do with it? Do you elder even know things? What you're asking about, or are you just someone's errand boy? Rude? Of course I know. You do don't you have one, do you? If I did have one here, I would let you see it. It would be kept under the highest security. The greatest thief in the world wouldn't be able to lay a finger on it. I need one. I don't know who told you that, but I'll do what I can. What we do have are plenty of books. I'll bring everything we have on them, but it's not much. So don't get your hopes up. It's mostly lies, leavened with rumor and conjecture. Okay. Uh, anything you there need help with? books to be recovered and secured here in the Arcanium. Adventure! All right, here. I scribbled down the last place I'd heard about. Check it out, but be careful. All right, then. Where are you going? Just to get the book, right? going here you go try not to spill anything on them what am I not spilling anything on oh ruminations on the Elder Scrolls imagine living beneath the waves of the strong-sided blessing of most excellent fabric folding the fabric over your gills would begin to breathe drink its warp and weft through the plant matter fi though the plant matter fibers imbue your soul, the wretched plankton would pollute the cloth until it stank to heavens of prophecy. This is one manner in which the scrolls first came to pass, but are we the sea? Or the breather? Or the fabric? 
Or with the breath itself? Can we throw, flow through the scrolls, knowledge flows through, being the water? Or with the stuck morass of sea filth that gathers on the edge? Imagine, again, this time, but different. A bird cresting the wind is lifted by a gust and downed by a stone. But the stone can come from above, if the bird is upside down. Where, then, did the gust come from? In which direction? Did the gods send either, or has the bird decreed their presence by her own mind-making? The all set of the scrolls makes a turning of the mind such that relative positions are absolute in their primacy. I guess you again to imagine for me. This time you are beneath the ground. A tiny acorn planted by some well-meaning elf maiden of the woodlands for her pleasure. You wish to grow, but fear what you may become. So you push off the water, the dirt, the sun, to stay in your hole. But it is in the very pushing that you become a tree in spite of yourself. How did that happen? The acorn is a kind of tree egg in this instance, and the knowledge is water and sun. We are the chicken inside the egg, but also the dirt. The knowledge from the skulls, scrolls is what we push against to become full-sighted ourselves. One full imagining before your mind closes from the shock of ever knowing. You are now a flame burning bright blue within a fast emptiness. In time, you see your brothers and sisters, burnings of their own in the distance and along your side. A constellation of pinpoints, a constellation of memories. Each burns bright, then flickers. Then two more take its place, but not forever, lest the void fills with rancid light that sucks the thought. Each of our minds is actually the emptiness, and the learnings of the scrolls are the pinpoints. Without their stabbing light, my consciousness would be as a vast nothingness. Unknowing its emptiness is a void as unknowing of itself. The burnings are dangerous, and must be carefully tended and minded and brought to themselves and spread to their siblings. Okay. Effects of the Elder Scrolls. It is widely known among the scholars that the Elder Scrolls entail a certain hazard in their very reading. The mechanisms of the effects has, at present, been largely unknown. Theories of hidden knowledge and divine retribution were the subject of idle speculation with little investigation. I, Justinius Polonius, have undertaken to thoroughly document the ailments afflicted by the Elder Scrolls on their readers, though a unified theory of how they manifest continues to elude me and remains a subject for future study. I've grouped the effects into four. Finding that the avenue of experience depends largely upon the mind of the reader. If this is unclear, I hope that a proper dichotomy will pl lay it plain. Group the first, the naifs. For one who has received no training in the history or nature of the Elder Scrolls, the scroll itself is, effectively, inert. No prophecy can be scried nor knowledge obtained. While the scroll will not impart learning to the uninformed, nor will afflict them in any adverse fashion. Visually, the scroll will appear to be a wash in odd lettering and symbols. Those who know their astronomy often, like, often claim to recognize constellations in the patterns and connections. But such conjecture is impossible to further investigate, since the very nature of the study necessitates unlearned subjects. Group the second, the unguarded intellects. It is the second group that realizes the greatest danger from attempting to read the scrolls. These are subjects who have an understanding of the nature of the Elder Scrolls and possess sufficient nature to actually read what is inscribed there. They have not, however, developed adequate discipline to stave off the mind-shattering effect of having a glimpse of infinity. These unfortunate souls are struck immediately, irrevocably, and completely blind. Such is the price for overreaching one's faculties. It bears mentioning, though, that with the blindness also comes a fragment of that hidden knowledge. Whether the future, the past, or the deep natures of being is dependent on the individual and their place in the greater spheres. But the knowledge does come. Group the Third, Mediated Understanding. Alone in Tamriel, 
but it appears that only the cult of the ancestor moth has discovered the discipline to properly guard one's mind when reading the scrolls. Their novitiates must undergo the most rigorous mental cultivation, and they often spend a decade or more at the monastery before being allowed to read their first elder scroll. The monks say this is for the initiate's own protection, as they must have witnessed many unguarded intellects among their more eager ranks. With appropriate fortitude, these readers also receive blindness, though at a far lesser magnitude than the unguarded. Their vision fogs slightly, but they retain shape, color, and enough acuity to continue to read mundane texts. They knowledge, the knowledge they gain from the scroll is also tempered somewhat. It requires stated, stages of meditation and reflection to fully appreciate and express what one saw. Group the fourth, Illuminated Understanding. Between the previous group and this one exists a continuum that has, at present, only traversed by the monks of the Ancestor Moth. Continued readings, the monks become gradually more and more blind, but receive greater and more detailed knowledge. As they spend their waking hours pondering the revelations, they also receive a further degree of mental fortitude. There is, for every monk, a day of penultimate reading, when the only knowledge that the Elder Scroll imparts is that Monk's next reading shall be his last. For each monk, the penned ultimate reading comes at a different and unknowable time. Preliminary work has been done to predict the occurrence by charting the severity of an individual monk's blindness. But all who reach these later stages report that the increasing blindness seems to taper with increased readings. Some pose the notion that some other unseen sense is in fact continuing to, mit to diminish at this upper range. But I shall leave such postulations to philosophers. To prepare for his ultimate reading, a monk typically withdraws to seclusion in order to reflect upon a lifetime of revolutions and appoint his mind for reception of his last. Upon his final reading, he is forever blinded, as sure as those unguarded ones who race to knowledge. The illuminated one, though, has retained his understanding over a lifetime, typically possesses a more integral notion of what has been revealed to him. It is hoped that this catalogue will prove useful to those who wish to further our mortal understanding of the Elder Scrolls. The Moss priests remain aloof about these matters, taking the gradual debilitation that comes with reading as a point of pride. May this serve as a useful starting point for those hoping to take up such study. Dictated to Anstius Mechum, fourth of last seed in the 126th year of the Second Era. Interesting. Hey, wait, wait, can you be somewhere I can talk to you? May your next fight bring you victory, friend. Nation's Aye, book doesn't make no that's sense. That's the work of Septimus Cygnus. He's the world's master of the nature of Elder Scrolls, but, well, he's but been insane? gone for a long while. Too long. Uh, where'd he go? Somewhere up north, in the ice fields. He said he found some old Dwemer artifact, but, well, that was years ago. Ugh, haven't heard from him since. Okay, let's go find Satimus then. Nobody cares what you want to say, dude. Uh, I need to actually... Wait. That was the wrong door. Might be. I want... Not that door. This door. Go away, local map. Okay, so... There. So just generally head like that way. Jump to these ruins to get out of this college.
this way. Bunny Wabbit. Do you give us some eggs, sir? It is the day. Bye. Bye. Very dark up here. Doop -a doop boop boop. Go head into a Dwemer ruin to find a Elder Scroll. This seems safe, nothing will go wrong. Oh, hi. Looks important. What's up? Dig, Dwemer in the beyond. I'll know your lost unknown and rise to your depths. Brings you to this remote place. The isolation will drive you insane, no? Ah, the ice entombs the heart. The bane of Kagranak and Degothur. That's not a good name. To harness it is to know the fundaments. The Dwemer lockbox hides it from me. The Elder Scroll. Why are we talking about Dagathar? Deeper than the deep ones, though, to bring about the opening. You have an Elder Scroll? I have seen enough to know their fabric, the warp of air, the weft of time. But no, it is not in my possession. Pay attention. I will ask you a question. Now, where is the scroll? Here. Well, here as in this plain. Mondas, Tamriel, nearby, relatively speaking. <laughs> On the cosmological scale, well, it's all You are batshit crazy. Okay, got it. Can you help me or not? Lifts the other. Septimus will give what you want, but you must bring him something in return. And what do you want? You see this masterwork of the Dwemer, deep inside their greatest knowings. Septimus is clever among men, but he is but an idiot child compared to the dullest of the Dwemer. Lucky then they left behind their own way of reading the Elder Scrolls. In the depths of Black Reach, one yet lies. Have you heard of Black Reach? Cast upon where Drimmer City slept, the yearning spire hidden learnings kept. <laughs> Black Reach? Wasn't that a WoW raid? Hey, Raptor. Where's Black Reach? Below the dark, the hidden keep, Tower Mazark. Oft-hand, the point of puncture, a first entry of the tapping. Delve to its limits, and Black Reach lies just beyond. But not all can enter there. Only Septimus knows the hidden key to loose the lock to jump beneath the deathly rock. How do I get in? Please be coherent for once. I have for you. Two shapes. One edged, one round. Edged? round one for tuning. Dwemer music is soft 
and subtle, and needed to open their cleverest gates. The edged lexicon for inscribing. To us, a hunk of metal. To the Dwemer, a full library of knowings, but empty. I asked for coherence. Find Mazark and its sky dome. The machinations there will read the scroll and lay the lore upon the cube. Trust Septimus. He knows you can know. What do I do with the sphere? The deepest doors of Dwemer listen for singing. It plays the attitude of notes proper for opening. Sounds like Can it, yeah. Not hear it. Too low for hearings. And what do I do Grips with this? The world group? inside an elder scroll can damage the eyes or the mind as it has to Septimus. Oh, you weren't always this crazy. You found a loophole as they always do to focus the knowledge away and inside without harm. Place the lexicon into their contraption, and focus the knowings into it. When it brims with glow, bring it back, and Septimus can read once more. What do you want with it? An observant one. How clever to ask of Septimus. This Dwemer lockbox. Look upon it, and wonder. Inside is the heart. The heart of a god. The heart of you and me. But it was hidden away. Not by the dwarves, you see. They were already gone. Someone else, uh, unseen, unknown, found the heart and with a flair for the ironical, used dwarven trickery to lock it away. The scroll will give the deep vision needed to open it. For not even the strongest machinations of the Dwemer can hold off the all sight given by an Elder Scroll. I. Oh. Okay. Um. I'm sure that made sense, but cool. Blah, 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 cool. Um, can't do anything with that. Okay. We're leaving now. I'll be back when I have whatever the fuck it is you asked me for. Step one, figure out what the hell he asked for. Serana. Where's this damn Basker? Blah blah blah. Oh, there. Cover the Elder Scroll. Uh, Hobbs Fall seems the closest. <laughs> 